All right, I want to do a little uh, review of the uh, Channel Master DVR Plus. And I've got it aimed at, you can't see it because it's black and it's about a, it's a little thicker than a dime. This is my speaker selector. This is a whole different box. But I'll put pictures out. You won't need to worry about that. But here's the hard drive that hooks to it. This is a, this is a terabyte little mini hard drive, which is probably smaller than my cell phone. These things are amazing now. That's a Toshiba ter one terabyte. And that's what you need for that because it only comes with a uh, 200, uh, what do I want to say, 2 gigs of memory or 2 hours up storage. So you need that to have the full functionality of the DVR to do the live TV pausing and, and stopping. So that's the hard drive that you hook to and it hooks up to a USB cable. And I just wanted to show you that real quick, but let me go to the, how, the functions of it. All right, let me show you how quickly it turns on. It comes on pretty quick. As you see. And I want to tell you, I bought a, the Magnavox one first, which it doesn't, even, this doesn't even do HD. And it degraded, just watching the TV, it degraded the picture quality so bad I couldn't stand it. And it didn't let the Dolby digital surround sound come through. You know, my receiver it blocked it out. Which was a bunch of crap. So anyway, I returned that one. Got this, but this is—it's got a great menu for. This is basically this is for not. I don't have cable. This is over the air antenna, free HD. You know, there's no. We're not paying any month. There's no monthly fee for this for this box like a TiVo has. How do you feel about that? Um, I just got it yesterday. I'm very impressed with it. Very impressed with it. It picks up a lot of channels. The tuner seems to be really strong on it. <clears throat> it, uh, I set it up to record uh, a late night show, and it recorded it fine. Very didn't have a problem. Very easy. If you hit the guide, it's kind of like a TV guide on your cable, like a cable box would have. And you can go through and go, and it explains what's on, and you can go to a show, and you can select to record it, just like you. Cable box DVR to record it weekly or every episode, uh, things like that. It's very cool, very, uh, very good menu deal here. And it picks up, like I said, it's got a very good receiver in it because a lot of that other one I had wouldn't even pick up some of the channels that my TV receiver would pick up. So this is this is really good. It has a two tuner, the two tuner, so it's, you can record two different shows. And watch another one, I guess, at the same time. Uh, let's see. So it hooks up through HDMI, your regular TV antenna, what your TV coaxial cable hooks into it, and then it goes out to your TV via HDMI cable. So you get your Dolby Digital sound, everything. If, you know, if that's what the channel is broadcasting. You get your 5.1 surround sound or whatever you got. So it's excellent for that. Let's see, let me just show you and pause it. And then I'll, here's the rewind. You can do up, it goes to 60 something speed. Only recorded for. So uh, basically, yeah, it's just very impressed with it. It's, it's just a new model that came out. They had a back order on it. It just came out in the beginning of um, beginning, middle of February. So I figured, let me try it. It's two. It's two fifty for the unit plus shipping is another another fee, <laughs> and then you need the hard drive. And also, they sell a USB Wi-Fi adapter that you need to get these to get the online guide here. But I, uh, I'm gonna try. I've ordered a different brand than theirs for like half the price. I'm gonna hook it up and I'll let you know if that works or not with it, because I don't want to spend 50 on it. The, the price for theirs is a little expensive. Also, it has a uh, Voodoo built into it. You can go to Voodoo if you have an account for that. It's got that built into it for movies and I don't. I don't have that, but 
that's not a big deal. But you can browse it or go, if you have an account, you can go, go into it. But it's pretty cool. I haven't checked it out. I guess, I don't know if they charge you per movie or what. I haven't, I haven't looked at it. But it's, it's yeah, pretty neat. The remote control is not too bad. I'm going to probably program my uh, my uh, universal one to work with it. But it's not a bad remote. Not too bad. The way it's laid out. But if you're if you're wondering about this and looking to get one and you don't want to pay cable like I do, you don't pay it, haven't paid it in years, but you want a, a nice DVR, just like the cable company where you can pause stuff and go to the bathroom for wine, pause for, you know, just like you do for everything. You would definitely like this, definitely. It's a little pricey kind of, but hey, you're not paying, you pay a hundred bucks a month for cable, so a couple months this thing pays for itself. So definitely, I uh, just want to do a little video on this. If you have any questions, put them in the comments and I'll, and I'll answer them best I can. I'm sure I'm missing a lot of information about it, but it's got a great, uh, I'll show you the menus. You can search for a TV show. I wish you had a keyboard with uh, with like a uh, keypad on it. You know, with a QWERTY keyboard on it, that would be nice. That'd be the only thing I could ask for to punch in stuff quicker, but it's not a big deal. But the menus, let's see. You can see it shows you recordings you have set up or recorded. This is what you would have recorded. It's really easy to get to everything. It's, they did a pretty good job with it. Settings, you can go in there and change, do a lot of different things. Have it turn off in so many hours or software updates you can check for. I got it. I've had it hooked up through my, uh, you know, Cat Fire right now. But like I said, I'm gonna test. I'm gonna get a uh, wireless USB adapter tomorrow in the mail, and I'll, I'll let you know if that works. Because I really want my other cord for my Xbox. I don't want to use this. But anyway, you can hook it up that way, or with the Wi-Fi, hard wire or Wi-Fi. Uh, no negatives that I can think of. I mean, I guess people are saying it doesn't record like the, only the new shows. It doesn't know which ones are new or which ones are repeats. So it'll just copy. It'll record more than you need, but that's not a big issue. You just delete it, you know. Ter a terabyte drive. I haven't even checked how many hours, but it holds so many hours you never need to worry about it. Unless you're a nut, you know. <laughs> but... I got it for football games and stuff like that because I'm tired of missing them. And the original, it only records up to two hours without the external hard drive. And it doesn't do the live pause, pause live TV, so it's not really useless without that extra external hard drive. But uh, yeah, I just want to do a video. And um, like I said, if you have any questions, let me know. Put them in a the comment. And uh, I'll answer them. But uh, yeah, very impressed with it. Definitely, if you like I said, if you don't have cable and you want a DVR, the DVR Plus is the one to go with. Check it out. Go to channelmaster.com, I think is the website. Um, they're not paying me nothing. I'm just doing a video. But that's it. Thanks for watching.